Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Hey, Samugi. Um. What are you doing, Samugi? Oh, Suiki. Uh, nothing really. That announcement played when I was going back to my room. Jeez. It would have been fine if they just told us the time, but why did it have to be so melodramatic? I think Monotara actually forgot what time it was. I don't know, but it's definitely too much. I'm more concerned about the moral implications. Aren't the Monocub siblings? But then... How could they have such an inappropriate relationship with each other? Um, the Monocubs are bears, right? I don't know if human morals apply to them. Or actually, I guess they're robots, not bears. So you're also robo- So you're also a robophobe, Samugi. No, what? You are the one who brought it up, Kibo. Your persecution complex is a bit over the top. He does have strong beliefs. Okay, well. Does talking to Kibo initiate the same cutscene? Suichi, what's the matter? I recommend that you return to your room as a nighttime announcement just played. Uh, yes. After I'm done, I'll head straight back. Yes, please do. Another murder could occur if you're out of your room at night. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting up again. Kokichi said all those unsettling things earlier. That's right. Kaido may have silenced him at the time, but I can't imagine Kokichi being so easily swayed. But Kokichi's never serious. That was probably all his idea of a joke, right? He may have been joking, he may have been serious too. It's very difficult to determine the sincerity of his statements. I never have any idea what he's thinking. That's what makes him dangerous. Yeah. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Another murder should not occur as long as we all stay vigilant. Yeah. yeah, let's do our best. Okay, well, I'll certainly try. Well, have a good night, you two. So, let's meet up with Kaido and Maki. Oh, we're hanging out over here today. Hey, Kaido. How you doing? Kaido, what's wrong? I have to say, I kind of wish that they didn't show us that Kaido was sick. Because I feel like these moments would have more weight if we knew something was going on with Kaido but weren't exactly sure what. Because only Suichi's in the dark right now. Well, and everybody else, I guess, too. Kaido, what's wrong? Do you have to go to the bathroom again? No. He's been like this because of what happened. Oh, because he punched Kokichi. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? No, I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. But hey, for today's training instead of exercise, how about the three of us just talk? Okay, I guess you're in too much pain or whatever to do anything right now. Hmm? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Stupid. Nobody decides what they talk about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Oh, that's why we're over here at this part of the courtyard. Because the bench area. Kaido picked a random spot in the courtyard and we all sat down. So what are we gonna talk about? Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? <laughs> yeah, he did. Come on, man, that was just a joke. Uh, uh right. Then let's talk about Maki. Why? Me? What about me? You know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. True, but what blood type do you like? What do you what what type of question is that? Blood type do I like? Don't you mean what's my blood type? Yeah, that's what I thought, but what? Did I say something weird? Yes, you did. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Kaito, you're kinda bad at this. <laughs> What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? No. Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Yeah, why that cover? Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. Why not? Uh, really? Sorry. All right then, let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. We're not talking about space, Kaido. Oh, hey, we're gonna hear Maki's backstory. I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Oh. 
Maki slowly began to tell us her story. At the old oh. age where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Oh, I see. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. Not exactly. For some reason, kids like me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Oh. The right to choose? When I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. They were scouting for assassins, and that's why you were picked? I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. Oh, you did it to help the kids of the orphanage. I remember thinking that I had to go. But that was the beginning of hell. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. Wow. I think I had some natural talent to begin with. But I worked incredibly hard as well. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. Oh. I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. <clears throat> I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I hmm. still think about that all the time. Maki sighed deeply after burying her soul. <sighs> That's all. It was an interesting story to listen to, was it? It's actually a very interesting story. Okay. Interesting? No, Maki, that was... The burden you've been carrying all this. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know, well, I could say the same to Suichi. Uh, um, really? Listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Maki Roll was able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. True, she wouldn't have told us that originally, would she? That's true. It might be thanks to the training. Got it. Well, obviously. My training is based on a systematic method. Uh, um, That's kind of vague. We spent a long time talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but it might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I have to. To keep my friends alive. Oh, hello. Hey, Monokuma. Hi, hello. His half white whiter than... His half... His white half's whiter than freshly made rice. His black half's blacker than the darkest night. It's my mon 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 I'm guessing, um, Batman reference? What? You actually came. Hmm, so I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? Is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Technically, it's not a rule violation. Besides, I can't pass up an opportunity to make the killing game more exciting. Right? I was thinking the same thing. This 
fun and vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. With that said, you're not even gonna try and use that motive? <laughs> you don't get it. A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way, no? That's what I've been thinking, so I've tried coming up with ways to use it. And I finally came up with an idea, so this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning something interesting, so if we use the motive there, then I think that would really spice up the game. Are you so are you in? <laughs> you really are an evil bastard. Of course, I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Let's have more fun. I will drag this world into the pits of terror using my villainous power to commit evil. Okay, then. So he's going to sabotage Gonto trying to fight Monokuma somehow. Monokuma Theater. Ooh, what is this a reference to? So, oh, Back to the Future, I got it. You can never trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. The honest one, it's the honest ones you want to watch out for. Because you can never predict when they're going to do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easier to go through life without telling a single lie. Which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather coast through life. By the way, the recent trend of encouraging honesty is actually a lie. You see, it's better for liars if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They've been lying about that trend so there so there can be more stupid, honest people. But that might be a lie too. <laughs> Okay. Interesting, uh, soliloquy, I guess. Um, hello? Um, this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. Um... Has Monophony always never had underwear? Because I could have sworn she did, but I noticed that she's not now. Ah, that's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. But not today. Maybe not today, but someday I'm going to be happy too. Huh? Darling, what's the matter? I finally remember. I need you, Mon Monofani. Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt you more by saying stuff like that. I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Wait, you silly man. Huh? My goodness, your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Alright, come here. I'll sew you back up. <laughs> Thank you, Mona. Monofani. Thank you. Why are you crying? That's so not like you. And in scene. What the hell kind of ending was that? Well, that was way too long for an announcement. Hmm. You mentioned sewing, and if I remember correctly, there's a sewing kit in Sumugi's Ultimate Lab. Does that mean that's going to be the site of the next murder, or that that's going to be used in some way, the sewing area? Well, ah oh well, I need to go to the dining hall. And we'll go to the dining hall in the next episode, and let me make sure that I saved this time, because I didn't save last time, and that was annoying. Um, so let's go ahead and save. And, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support my Patreon, and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. If you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.